talking about manifestation, that Guru said, if you just do Brahmananda Swarupa, you don't need anything else. I have a friend who, who did that. He manifested um, a job which gave him so much money that he could move out of his parents' house. He now is becoming a doctor. This moving from victim consciousness mm -hmm. to moving to a place of power, we yeah. see that from what they're telling us, their environment is really something that makes them feel helpless to that level. We cannot be like, no, just pull yourself and do this. You know, like that's that's like really harsh, and it's not something that they can. That's not actionable for them. So yeah. really, it's it's less about, um, you know, we're not trying to give them the fish. We want to teach them how to fish. We want to empower them to to make the decision to commit to learn to fish so that they can feed themselves. And I think. Um, and that's a process and we can still help them temporarily but the only issue is like that victim consciousness are you really coming as a, as a victim are you seeing yourself as helpless or little by little it doesn't have to be all at once but little by little are you becoming aware and taking responsibility are you little by little taking power taking ownership or what you can do because you have to see like there's this amazing quote it's like do what you can with what you have um and again, it's not like we have the answers. Nobody has the answers. Only you can look at your situation and do what is appropriate because there's no right answer. There's only something that's what is appropriate for you in your situation, your context, and your time. And uh, only you can see that. We can support you in some way, but again, like this, I think it's uh, very difficult to provide support that is of, of a certain depth. Um, but hopefully you can get some actionable insights that will make an impact in your life if you choose to know, if you commit to do something about it right now right now it's 6 20 and therefore i'm like you know what Sadhguru said if you just do brahmananda swarupa you don't need anything else i have created a video which explains the meaning of the chant and also offers a rare audio of it i will link it down in the description below and in the end slide so for those who can't do any physical sadhana if you just chant brahmananda swarupa even if you can't chant it out loud, just chant it within yourself. And whenever you have your phone and, you know, just play it on the phone, um, just keep it on in the house, if like on some low level. Nobody, like very little people have the level of attention to, to you know, or they will say something against it. But even if, just do it within yourself. Um, I, have, I have a friend who did that and he, talking about manifestation he, he manifested a job which gave him so much money that he could move out of his parents house he now is becoming a doctor you know so so he was just keeping the chant on and so Sadhguru's grace was just pouring in and uh, he 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 had enough money to move out of the, his, his home you know so I would say this is um, yeah this works so we can leave you with one question um, that you can ponder on that could to move from from feeling like a victim feeling helpless to a place of power and and taking action towards um, Taking your situation taking charge of your situation. And the question is this like what is one thing that if you did? Would make all of this irrelevant? What is the one thing that you can achieve not and it, it's not about someone else. It's about you um, So it's basically bring everything on me like I am responsible, you know, I have the ability to respond you're moving from a reactionary life to a responsive life. Um, so, and this is one of the seven habits of highly effective people. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and comment down below one thing that you found really valuable. Thank you.